How's it going everyone? Sarasota Tim here in North Carolina. Just took delivery of my 2016 camper I bought in uh, almost new condition. Just kind of wanted to dust it off some. It's a Wolf Pup uh, 16 FQ. Uh, the only damages are the, de the decal here is peeling off. I might just want to remove that all together. And other than that, it's got the mag wheels. They need to be cleaned up some more. I just I think I sprayed the other one in uh, the other side over here. All the lights came on uh, when I plugged it in. The turn signal's on right there. All these lights up here. Uh, these are on the side here. I'll take you inside real quick. It's got a little fading from the sun and sitting where it come in from the side. Uh, underneath this cover that it had and this is a rain guard that's working see how the water's dripping off that's a rain guard as the water comes does it run down here it comes right out over there and the roof is domed so and it's a walkabout roof uh, we plug everything in everything works I got hoses cords everything uh, this is an option on a lot of these that don't have it this folds down the spare tire's never been on the ground. Uh, that stays on there. You can put totes back there, bicycles, whatever you want. It's just got a little oxidation, guys. I don't know if some wax will fix that up. Probably will. But let me show you inside. Uh, the guy that had it, he put him a chair in here, and it's a recliner. I got I to gotta put some pillows around there just so it don't slide while I'm driving. And I put the uh, dinette cushion on each side just to kind of wedge it in there. But it actually works really well because, as you can see, they took the bed on the 16 FQ, which normally goes this way. And it's like a slight walk around to make the bed. It was like a, a gap about six inches on each side. Well, he didn't like that. So he built the box different and turned the bed sideways, bought a different mattress, which is even bigger. And he put it this way. And I don't mind it at all. It's a nice big bed. Uh, the only other thing that doesn't work is this is not going up and down. You can, you can bring it up but you have to pin it and the cord of the string. So I just need to replace that. Uh, that all these work fine. And these lights, these are LED and uh, the dinette. I have the cushions off. Sorry, it looks terrible without the cushions on there, but you've got storage, okay, under there. The table comes down and lays on this ledge here. This is the wood table. It's the only year they had it was a real wood. This is a solid piece. It's not anything that water can get in. They talk about this a lot. Uh, that's something that I did, made a little mess there. This sink's never been used. This, this, this thing was used six times. Uh, these get held up by this double-sided Velcro they put on here, but there's no more sticky left, so it's not holding. So I just need to replace that. He moved the TV from here. See all these little holes? These would be like rough sanded. He tried to cover it with putty, but uh, he brought everything in with the TV antenna. He cut a hole in here. He ran the wires all the way through over there, and it's a nice TV. And with the chair right here, you know, you can watch the TV or in the bed. So I don't mind that. I, you only notice that when you look for it. It's a little bit busy, but... And this is perfectly good. Uh, Bluetooth and AM, FM, CD, DVD... Uh, air conditioner, I checked it, absolutely freezing, 13,500 BTU, smoke detector in here, hood van. This has never been used. The stove was never used. And I turned it on. Um, there's no clicker, you know, to, to light it. You just have to use a Bic lighter or something. I put a Bic lighter right there. Look, it's never been used. And it lit up like a blue flame, like beautiful. And the refrigerator was ice cold. It's a, um, a nor cold. Look how it's brand new. Brand new. Freezer. They turned it on. It was ice cold. We ran the uh, hot water heater. Water was coming out hot. It's got this nice big tall spigot here. Stainless look. But the big thing, look, they put this in. Little clothes hanger thing. It's got a nice closet. Um, the big thing is, it's got a 20,000 BTU furnace. Oh. 
Um, under here, it's always a good sign, right? Every single paperwork in that tub there to this camper is right there. And there's a DVD player for the TV. And, you know, these are a little bit frayed. You sit here, you got a really nice bay window to look out. I'm going to put this down, I think, and make a couch here with some pillows. I don't know. But the microwave's never been used. Absolutely brand new in there. Uh, here's the big thing about this unit. Rear bath. Look at this. In the meantime, it's got... I, I, I got the power turned off. Big place down here to hold all your toilet paper and towels and stuff. It's got the... Uh, Toilet's probably never been used. Uh, this exhaust fan works fine. I already tried it. You see all the um, pollen on that thing. I need to clean it off. This shower works great. Um, it has a little thing here. You press the button. I couldn't get it to work. It was like drizzling out. And I went like this. Shoo, big time. Uh, they've actually mounted these here. Got a little towel rack they put on. Got a nice mirror. How you doing, everybody? Got a little towel rack here they put on. And uh, they also gave me on the trailer hitch a sway bar thing. I'll show it to you. But this thing is brand new. It's a brand new 16 FQ. A couple of mods with the TV. You know, some little uh, trial and error things here. I'll sand these down. Um, DVD, CD player. The Bluetooth stereo is awesome. Stereo is crank. Uh, the speaker's crank. It's got a memory foam. I stuck this lamp under there just so it don't fall around. And it's got an O2 uh, carbon monoxide sensor. Uh, this, this chair is really cool. You can recline it out. You pull it away from the wall, watch the TV. And they left this clock in here for me. As you can see, it keeps perfect time. Got a temperature gauge they left in here for me. And uh, there's storage overhead here. Tons of storage. Oh, what did I do? This is to the Sanyo. There's a, that's the DVD player right here. Here's some movies. <laughs> and this is a CD player. Fire extinguisher is still good. I might replace it though. Uh, this is perfect. Look. Got a little, little fray right there in the corner, which is always going to happen. That just pulls straight down. You put one hand over there, one hand over there. It goes right down. Got a window. This one pushes out. It was a little sticky because it hadn't been opened in a long time. We opened it up. Air conditioner will run you out of here. It's got real nice steps. I just got them folded away right now. And this here closes in like that. Got a little tear here on the rubber. And... It has, this locks here, and there's a deadbolt. And the same key fits both. These are the speakers that play really good. And the awning is a nice awning. It's not power. It doesn't have that light strip like the new ones have. But it does have um, a light here and a spotlight here. Looks like it's LED. I have no idea where the switch is for that. Let's see if I can find out. Let's look together. Where would that be? How about right here? Look, everything works, guys. Everything works. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, guys, that's the end of it. It pulls behind the truck absolutely fine. Uh, I don't have, this is that sway bar they gave me, including this receiver hitch. Uh, and this thing right here. And what this does is just prevents uh, swaying. Battery's good. I don't know how much. It's got a power tongue jack, which everybody puts on them. So that's it, guys. I just barely just uh, sprayed it off. The tires are still bad. I'm going to clean it up more. And I got to get down the road now to Florida, 750 miles. Of course, that spare tire's never been on the ground. But there it is. Forest River Cherokee Wolf Pup 16 FQ. Thanks for viewing, everybody.